Hello everyone. As promised, I like to show you two current applications for Android which can be used for really road book writing. When you will do in research on the internet you will find more than those two. You will also find an application called Ready Rabbit, which is as far as I understood, widely used in South America, especially in Brazil. But as far as I'm aware, not many rallies or even none rally in Europe is using Rally Roadbook uh, by Rabbit for creating the roadbooks. And therefore, the application is not uh, really an option as it uses its own format and almost no rallies using this format are available in Europe. So I wanted to focus on two applications. One is called the Rally Roadbook Navigator by Rally Roadbook Navigator, which is uh, a reader of the, the roadbook format. So it can be used for rallies which for which the organizer uses this product as well. And uh, it's not that uncommon in Europe. Some rallies do use this format, like Boston Rally. Hellas Rally did in the past. As far as I've understood, they will use a different software in the future. But nevertheless, it makes sense to have a look on it, as it provides some nice functionalities. Even it's brand new and still has some issues, which we already uh, reported to the developers and they're working to get to sort them out. When entering the applications, you will see notebooks shared with you. And they provide uh, two different kind of views of roadbook. One is for the free version, which is just a basic layout and format of a roadbook. On the other hand, they also provide for subscription starting at 20 euros per year and different view with auto highlighting and enriched format. Unfortunately, even we are having such an account, it does not properly show the right format in the version 1.5, which is working and we're showing here in the test. There's 1.6 available, which seems to show the right format, but doesn't scroll anymore, the roadbook itself. So there are still some bugs they have to get sorted out. We will report them again and hopefully they're able to get all bugs solved till Boston Rally. Uh, what we also use is our quite known roadbook controls, which I show here. A friend of mine was so nice and developed this really great casing. It's based on a rally blitz solution. It consists of, on one hand, the handlebar control with three buttons and an up and down switch, which can be mounted to the handlebar. And it's connected to this Bluetooth module, which is communicating direct to the Android device. It's a standard human interface device that means it initializes itself as a keyboard and therefore does not need any additional software on the tablet to work so it is really useful and we will show how this works with the value navigator reader just open one of the roadbooks it takes a bit to load the roadbook and as you see here now you see the screen of the application on the top you have the distance count in miles or kilometers a speed meter, time and the cap heating. And then of course you see the directions of the roadbook itself. That what you see here now is the so-called simplified format, which is available in the free version. As said before, even we're having a different license, which should show the enriched format. It doesn't work currently. With our accounts, we already reported it to the Rally Navigator team and they hopefully will sort it out before Boston Rally by second half of July. Of course you can also use the buttons to correct the trip meter. As you will see there is some kind of lagging between pushing a button and the reaction of the software. It's about up to a second. Honestly we compared it with a paper road book. It isn't slower than a paper road book so in real life it won't be an issue. But in the first moment it's a bit kind of irritating when you push the button it does not react immediately. So this is a kind of optimization, which hopefully the guys of Rally Navigator will be also able to do. Yeah, as you've seen, the controls work quite nicely. The nice thing in this application is that you 
can do some configurations like if you have or if it's working with your account you have an auto highlighting of important information in the roadbooks which is nice and you have a very important functionality which is so called auto cub calibration this is specially needed whereas many roadbooks are still metered out not on GPS basis to meet it out on wheel basis and therefore you will need to have to correct the value return from a GPS distance to the one which fits with the wheel base so without such functionality writing a roadbook is not really fun so the main advantage of this application is that it provides some really nice additional features which would be the auto highlighting and improved format as said if it works with the accounts what they're working on the other thing is that it is a really nice design and seems to work quite okay the downturn as you might say that is you can only use it for rallies for which the organizer uses the software of the same manufacturer so it limits you a bit for which rallies you can use the application so it would be nice if they also will add some pdf format support which of course would mean that functionalities like auto highlighting and so on are lost so we will do further testing at boston rally for this application to give you insights hopefully the guys of early navigator sort out that we can see the enriched view with our subscription and then it really makes sense that we test and try it at boston rally so uh it is really a nice application especially when the organization uses their software for creating the roadbooks